everybody. The uh, public hearing of the Committee on Labor, Employment, and Human Resource Development is hereby resumed. Noong uh, nakarang Merkulis, ay sinimulan natin talakayan ang uh, Senate Resolution Number 692 na inihain ni Senator Rafi Tulfo at ang isang kaso na kognay nito ng kaso ng mga dating magagawa ng Liberty Transport Corporation na ngayon ay kinakatawan ni Mr. Lilio Rebueno. Nalaman natin hanggang ngayon ay hindi pa din napupunta sa pagmamayari ni na Mr. Rebueno ang lupain na, na marapat lamang na iginawad sa kala ng hustisya matapos nilang manalo sa labor case na inihain nila noong, noong pa 1996. Nakita din natin kung paano naging masalimutan ang kasong ito dahil sa pagkakasangkot ng DMCI Narinig natin ang paliwanag ng uh, kinatawa ng DMCI ngunit uh, mas maraming tanong pa ang nabuo kaya't nandito tayo muli ngayon sa pag-asang maliwanagan ang mga detalye ng kaso at sa huli ay may stupad na ang hustisya para sa mga manggagawa na kinatawa na ginong Rebueno. Higit sa lahat, layunin ng ating komite na sa pamagitan ng kaso na ito makita natin ang mga pagkukulang sa sistema upang ating naman bigyan ng solusyon sa pamagitan ng paggawa ng batas at pagpapatupad ng mga polisya ng ating mga kasamahan sa pamalaan. Okay, Mr. Committee Secretary, can you please uh, acknowledge the, our resource persons for today? Good morning, Mr. Chairman. Uh, invited resource persons who are present for this morning's continuation of the inquiry of the committee are the following. From the Department of Labor and Employment, Attorney Marlon D. Alban, Legal Service. Together with Attorney Morris Lim from the Legal Service, from the National Conciliation and Mediation Board, the OIC Director, Kim Rocky Aquino, from the National Labor Relations Commission, Commissioner Hernan Nikdao, from the Taguig City Register of Deeds, Attorney Sedfrey Garcia, the Acting Register of Deeds, from the employers' groups, uh, the DMCA Project Developers Incorporated, Mr. Alfredo Austria, the President, together with uh, the Vice President, Attorney Ruel Pascio, Attorney Barcillo Gascon Jr., the Corporate Counsel. Good morning, Your Honor. Also, Attorney Reynaldo San Gabriel. From the Philippine Stock Exchange, Attorney Veronica V. Del Rosario, the General Counsel. From the People's Management Association of the Philippines, Attorney Carmelo Aguilar, General Counsel. From the Buklura ng Manggagawang Pilipino, Mr. Domingo Mole, Chairperson. Uh, Mr. Lilio Ribueno, the complainant. Together with Attorney Regan Capuno, Private Counsel. Assisted by Attorney Gregorio Bilog IV, Private Counsel and also Attorney Juan Paulo Amador, Private Counsel. That is all your honor. Thank you, uh, uh, our committee secretary. I will just suspend the uh, hearing for five minutes to wait for the presence of uh, our uh, colleagues, Senator Rafi Tulf and Senator Chis Scudero. Hearing suspended for five minutes. Uh, hearing. Uh, anybody of you who wishes to make an opening statement? 
may complainant uh, Mr. Rubueno nung nakaralig ko hindi, hindi kaya ta nabigyan ng pagkakataon makapagsalita gusto niyo ba magsalita ngayon tungkol sa uh, kaso okay sige Uh, marami po sana kung uh, uh, gustong sabihin tungkol sa kaso. Sige po, umpisa niyo po. Kasi po, uh, ang kaso namin ay nagsimula pa po siya noong uh, September 1996. Almost uh, make it 26 years na. Nagsimula po ito sa labor case Nanalo kami sa uh, labor, sa uh, akyat sa NLRT. Nanalo ko kayo sa? Kaso, sa kaso po. Sa NLRC? Uh, tapos, inakyat po ito sa uh, Court of Appeals. Nagkaroon po, po kami ng ano, sa Land Registration Authority. Kaso, puro po namin na ipanalo yun. Hanggang sa dumating sa Supreme Court, panalo pa rin kami. So, sa napakatagal po ng aming kaso, tatlo po, na, tatlo po sa aming kasamahan ang namatay na. Ito Ilan po, ang namatay na? Tatlo po yung namatay na, si Mr. Eduardo Nonsol, si Elmore Mabatan, at saka si Jose Balde. Sa tagal po ng aming uh, paghintay, Uh, kung saan saan kami napunta sa register of bids nung gusto namin implement na yung uh, one, uh, panalo namin na malipat na sa amin ang uh, pangalan doon sa titulo wala po kaming napala hanggang na nabali wala na po siya hindi na namin, ano, hindi na namin malaman kung ano pang gagawin namin sa tagal-tagal po na ang aming uh, kaso na yun. Mula labor hanggang Supreme Court na ipanalo po namin. Pero hanggang ngayon po, wala po kaming uh, napapalang uh, Okay, uh, uh, before that I would like to acknowledge the presence of uh, Senator Rafi Tulfo. Pagpuntuloy niyo po. Kaya ngayon po, uh, gusto ko po sanang uh, mabigyan nito ng uh, pansin ng mga kinauukulan na yung pagiging delaying tactics ng mga malalaking kumpanya. Sino, pinapat, sino po pinapat, pinapatukuyan uh, ninyo? Hindi po kami. Sino po pinapatukuyan ninyo ang malalaking kumpanya? Ang DMCI? Apo. Hmm. Ma nagtala po kami sa kanila noong uh, June 1 ng 2015 nakikiusap kami na magkaroon na lang ng uh, amicable settlement uh, hindi po kami pinansin. Nagpadala po kami ng sulat, pumunta kami sa opisina nila, pero hindi po kami in-entertain. Hanggang pinaghintay lang po kami Hanggang sa inaminabot ng uh, uwi na. Ilang beses po kayo nagpunta sa DMCI at hindi kayo yung pinansin? Po. Ilang beses kayo nagpunta sa DMCI? Ay, tatandaan ko po tatlong beses. Tatlong beses lang sa loob ng ilang taon? Uh, mga, mga 2016, 2015, ganun. Taon na yun. Uh, wala ko kayo nakausap? Uh, mayroon po kaming nakausap doon na uh, yung abogado nila, si Attorney uh, Gascon. Mm. Pero pinaghintay lang po kami doon sa isang kwarto. Uh, na hintay-hintay lang kayo at mayroon akong uh, baga, inaasik kaso. Uh, ina -ano. Pero ang uh, inabot kami ng alas 5 ng hapon, wala na nag-uwi yan. Uh, wala na po kaming magawa kundi umuwi na rin din. Mm. Sa katunayan po, may surat po kami noon. Uh, pwede ko bang ipakita ito? Ano yung surat? Direksyon mo, nasabot ko man ng siya. Pinarit ko. Ano yung surat?
Uh, Your Honor, may surat po ako dito. Pagpakita ko sa inyo. Surat po namin sa Presidente. Presidente. MCI. Okay. Noong uh, July, uh, June 13, 2015. May Your Honor. Pakipunan may sulat. Ah, Original ho yan? Oh, uh, parang uh, copy na rin kasi yung original po ito, uh, uh, ito sulat nyo sa presidente DMCI. ng DMCI meron ho silang sinagot ba ang sulat ninyo? Hindi po Hindi kayo sinagot ito sulat nito Okay. So, meron pa ako yung sasabihin pa? Uh, uh, wala na po. Wala. Okay. Uh, Attorney Guscon, narinig niyo yung mga pahayag ni Ginong Ginong uh, Rebueno? Meron ka bang uh, nice uh, uh, Yeah, good, uh, good morning, Your Honor. Uh, we acknowledge that Mr. Not only that uh, the group of work, these are group of workers, Your Honor. It is not only Mr. Bueno who co compromised these uh, workers, where in fact the uh, other workers, which is the main complainant, Ms. Nelia Bernadas, are here. And I think uh, Mr. Bueno is not, uh, I'm sorry to say, but uh, he is not truthful to what he is. Uh, he is narrating. How, about how, how did you say that he is not? Truthful. Uh, your Honor. Uh, no, you, you don't raise your hand, okay? Because you're not included in the resource person. Uh, your Honor, they went to the office. They're asking us to be compensated. Uh, they want to, to get the, what you call this, their their award from the, the labor. Unfortunately, uh, they're saying that, uh, the, that we have to pay them. But unfortunately, Your Honor, uh, in their various pleadings, they are not the only one claiming in the MCI because there are other parties who are already uh, stating, coming to the MCI, not only them, that they said that they already sold their rights to the, to the, to the, to the case. And uh, during the time, Honor, it is not only one party, but only various parties, Your Honor. And we talked to them. They said that if we want to settle you, uh, we have to settle also the, we have to call the other parties that uh, allegedly that you sold your rights. So we can, is it like this, Your Honor, that uh, various groups are already coming to the MCI stating among others that they are already the owners. We, we, we convey to them that uh, so in order to avoid to any, any suits or any conflicts anymore, Your Honor, we ask them that all parties should come together and we go to the to the labor arbiter to 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 settle once and for all their claim because we told to them it is unfair to the MCI we will going to free you and then here comes another group of parties who will going against us so we ask them if 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 in case we 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 convey to them that we're really willing to, to settle with them. But we, we are asking them that we settle in front of the labor arbiter, Your Honor. So, but since they don't want to do that, we, it, we, 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 we cannot uh, settle with them, Your Honor, during that time. All right. Uh, Senator Tulfo, uh, you may wish to have an opening you, statement. Uh, or Mr. Continue, Chair, uh, ask it's not for you to tell us here that he's lying. Kasi kayo naman dyan sa DMC, marami rin kayong kasinungalingan. As a matter of fact, during the last hearing, I already warned you na magsabing totoo uh, dahil yung patay binuhay mo. In fact, dapat ma-disbar ka nga as far as I'm concerned. Alam mo na sa, doon sa sinumpaan mong uh, dokumento na para ikaw ay makapag uh, notarize dapat nandoon yung tao present pero pumunta ka pa rin kahit na hindi present yung tao doon so doon pa lang ikaw ang nagsinungaling ikaw ang sinungaling not that gentleman there so before accusing that gentleman as a liar look in the mirror because ikaw very glaring yung violation mo nagsinungaling ka pinirmahan mo doon 
na nasa harap ko yung nagpapanotarize ng dokumento when in fact those two persons were not there. So you're the liar, not him. You understand? Okay. Now my question, Mr. Chair, is for the president. Is he here? President of uh, the MCI? Are you the president and CEO? Of, of which department? Uh, Mr. Ostea, sir? Yes. President, po kayo ng buong DMCI Corporation company or certain? Uh, DMCI Project Developers Incorporated. Yun, yun po yun. Project, ang pinapatawag ata dito yung overall presidency yun ng DMCI, Mr. Chair. Bakit ang pinadala sa atin yung developer? Project developer. Uh, where is the the owner of uh, DMCI? Di ba yun ang pinasupino natin, pinatawag natin? Okay, you take your oath. Oath not. Sige. Comsec, please administer the oath. Please raise your right hand. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth before this committee investigation of the Committee on Labor? Please take your seat. Are yes. you privy to all transactions regarding the MCI? Uh, not all, but... Uh, what do you mean not all? Most transactions, not... Because if you cannot answer in behalf of the MCI, I'll let you out here. I'll let you go out here. Are you willing to speak for and in, in behalf of the MCI? Yes, Your Honor. All right. Kasi ayo ang ibig sabihin lang po ni Mr. Chair, baka sabihin mamaya, kahire lang po sa akin two months ago or two years ago, hindi pa po ako presidente niyan. So we don't want to have that kind of answer from you. So how long have you been working with the MCI, Mr. Austria? Um, since 1990, well, since 1999, 90. That's good enough for me. Okay, 90s, because that's how it all started. Now, since you are the president of uh, the MCI project developers, that was your position from the very beginning, right? Um, no. Or you rose from the rocks? I was what was your manage, position back in the 90s with the MCI? I was initially managing director, but then... Managing director. What do you do as managing director? Well, it's almost the same as being president, actually. Yeah, tell, tell us. What does a managing director do? I was... Uh, I was... Uh, what, what are your responsibilities? Well, I was directing all of the operations of the company. I was reporting to our CEO back then, no? So when you say operations, day-to-day -day operations, that would include anything that concerns litigations, right? Yes or no? Um, yes. Okay, good. So um, you were aware from the get-go that uh, there is a uh, litigation uh, case involving uh, the sale of this property we're talking about now. It's in the courts, right? I, I, was, I was made aware um, a few years ago, but initially uh, I was not aware of it. Okay, after you've been made aware, like you said, then what did you do? I was aware uh, just, um, I think, Two years ago or something, you know, but uh, because we Two have years ago, people. I thought yeah. you said you were with DMZI since 1999 yeah. or something, yes. right? But so you the, mean to say now you were just made aware two years ago? Yes, after Your Honor. Yes, the Your Honor. were already brought to court. Dapat before it was brought to court, you were aware sa lahat ng day-to-day -day operation because you're the operations president. Economist right. Malagsabi, day-to-day -day operation, alam mo dapat yan, and then you report to your higher-up. And who's that higher-up that you report to? I report to the board. Your to Honor. the boards, okay. And then you give sound advice to the board kung ano yung uh, action that should be taken after yes, you receive all this information below, tama, on the ground. Now, ulitin ko ang tanong ko. Nalaman niyo po na may problema yung lupa. Okay, it's it's on litigation. It's under litigation. Ano pong ginawa nyo? Wala kayong ginawang, uh, hindi nyo po kinausap yung board, hindi nyo kinausap yung mga concern 
uh, mga department, units, and people para sabihin, hey, mukhang delikado tayo tumainit to. Di ba? And then, bring up to the board kung ano yung maging uh, decision ng pangkalahatan ng nakarami. Majority. Mm. Unfortunately, Your Honor, um, I learned about this. I was made aware of this case uh, not too long ago. No? Um, because uh, we have plenty of, I don't know, well, we are dealing with so many details in the company. No? And uh, in, I think... Define so many details. Well, so, so ibig sabihin, itong kasong ito, maliit lang na details. Kasama to sa so many details and then hindi bibigyan importance to. Importante. We're talking about billions and billions of worth of our projects and hindi mo mabibigyan attention to. Hindi to naka- hindi, hindi po, ng attention not, mo. Hindi po ganun. Importante ho ito dahil sa amin po, very important yung being fair to all people yes, we're sir. dealing with. No? Okay. Um, it's all in the sense na normally, pagka hindi kaya ng mga department heads or division heads, yung mga hinahandle nilang trabaho, saka umaakyat po sa, sa akin. Pero okay. hindi ho lahat nung lahat nung uh, lahat nung tasks, no? Nakakarating po sa akin. Okay. So, nung makarating sa yung kaso, ano pong ginawa niya? But before that, paano ipinarating sa iyo yung kaso? How was it explained to you? And who did the explanation? Actually, um, ano po eh, nung nalaman ko lang ito nung uh, eto ng recently lang po nung last year last year uh meron ng kaso and uh last year okay last year nang laman ng may kaso and he was the one who told you about the case right and then ano po paano niya nasabi sa inyo how was it explained to you si attorney yung Yung hindi ko si Attorney Gascon, si Attorney Pasho, siya yung head ng legal department. I know, I know. Siya ko yung nag... Kaya, kaya nga, I, I want it from your, from your own mouth, from yes. your own words. Yes. Paano nila ipiniliwanag sa inyo yung problema? Paano nila sinabi? Paano ang pagkasabi sa inyo? Well, sabi po nila na um, may kaso and uh, they, they are talking with the parties involved, no? And um, na-settle naman daw nila yung, ano, yung paso. Na-settle? Opo. Uh, define settle, na-settle na, well, na. Initially, noong 2000, 2009, no, kinuwento nila sa akin, noong 2009. Um, na-settle na? Sinettle nila yung paso. Off. Eh, sabi niya, how was it settled? So with the permission of Senator Tuan. How was it settled? If it, if po yung, it was already settled, how come they're still here and complaining? Oh, uh, oh, according to our according to who? To our lawyers po. Oh, nag, nagbayaran binayaran po sila ng ng hinihingi na lang ang mga Sino nagbayad? Ang DMCI po. DMCI. Pera ng DMCI? Opo. Oh. Eh, kung binayaran sila, why are still why are they still complaining? Yun nga po ang hindi namin maintindihan. Hindi ba kayo in-inform ni Attorney Gascon tungkol sa kasong to? Him being the, the legal counsel of the MCI? And you only knew it last year? And this, has, this case has been ongoing since 1996? And you were employed by the MCI in 1999? Yes. You should have briefed you regarding these cases. This case. Oh. Tapos ngayon, wala kang ano. Well, ang ano lang, I think the reason why hindi nila ako in-inform about it, kasi po, in their... In their minds, na settle na yung case po. Nag in their minds, oh, how much did you pay them? How much did you did they did they did you settle? Dito sa mga complainants. One point nine million po. One Way point... back in two thousand and two thousand and nine. One point nine. Apa? Billion? Yes, million. One point nine million. 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 Who were the beneficiaries? Why do you have to ask po. your lawyer about it? The alam workers, may alam ka dyan. The workers po ang nabayaan uh, po. Sige, I will go to you after that. Sige, Senator Rafi, you may. Okay. Uh, let me go back to uh, 
Mr. Rebueno. Okay, Mr. Rebueno, sabi mo sa akin kanina, dito, uh, hindi kayo pinapansin. If he's telling the truth, then mukhang may pagkukulang doon sa statement mo. Nasabi mo, hindi ka pinapansin, eh sabi niya, pinansin kanila by way of uh, kayo mga complainant nakipagsayatel. Totoo ba nung what year was that, Mr. Austria? 2009 po. 2009, nakipagkita kayo sa kanila at uh, nag, nagbigay sila ng 1.9 million. And saan po nangyari ito? Sa office po ng DMCI Homes. Sa, sa, sa office ng DMCI po. Which office is sa this? Sa Bangkal po, sa Makati. Bangkal, Makati. And do you have the month, date? Okay. Anyway, uh, Mr. Rubeno or Attorney Capuno, since you're the lawyer. Uh, thank you, Your Honor. Uh, I think, Your Honor, the settlement being mentioned by the president of DMCI back in 2009, this pertains to the deed of redemption of real property where they claim to have paid the laborers uh, 1.9 uh, million. This was the subject, Your Honor, of the query, uh, the previous hearing uh, where there was a falsified uh, document forged uh, a party, Marikit, who died already that was uh, notarized by the council of the MCI, Your Honor. I think that's the settlement they are mentioning. In 2000, back in 2009. We're not aware, Your Honor, how they paid it, but uh, we're just basing it on the uh, facts uh, narrated by the Supreme Court in their decision. How did you settle them? No, 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 no. It's Mr. Austria. Pinayaran po sila ng cash po. Is it true na binayara kayo ng 1.9 M o B? Million. Mil million. Ah, million. Million. Million po. Oo. Oh. Wala pong totoo yan. Hindi po totoo yan. Wala kayo natanggap ng 1.9 million. Wala po ka. Wala pong katotohanan yan. Meron ba kayo kasulutan? Uh, yes, Your Honor. That's why... Po na meron mo sila ng 1.9 The other workers are here, Your Honor. They could testify all that. The other workers? Yes, Your Honor. And si Mr. Lilio, he keeps on denying it. Is there, Your Honor, in the title of the case, there no, are... No, no, no. Nabigyan niyo ba si Mr. Lilio na kanyang share? He was there, Your Honor. He, but nakatanggap ba siya? Uh, yes, Your Honor. Nakatanggap po kayo? Wala po akong nakatanggap na galing sa MCI. Can you, have, can you please uh, present uh, your evidence if uh, Mr. Lilio Rebueno received or uh, 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 admitted to the settlement that you were telling us? Your Honor, during that time, there are three doc uh, the documents that we that we that when we paid them, it is a collective, Your Honor. Uh, no, I am asking you, kung nakatanggap ng pera ito si Rebueno, galing sa inyo. Yeah, we presume, Your Honor, because uh, the presume. Picture, there should okay. be the redemption, Your Honor. Hey, listen, there listen, Mr. Dagascon, you're an attorney, right? And you should know better. Pag may mga transaksyon na tungkol sa isang kaso na gusto niyong in-action na nyo, bigyan solusyon, that should be documented. Kumari nga, dapat may video pa at may mga pirmahan, may mga quit claim, etc., etc. Meron ba yun? That's why you're on the... Show it to us, here. Na back in 2009, o ba kaya yung, pin yung pineke na naman, yung buhay, ginawang patay? That's why, you're on patay. this is the document that we asked them to say, and then they, after one year, your honor, they're questioning it. After that, we, we, we asked them to sign it together with their counsel during that time. And then after one year, Your Honor, after we paid them all this one, that's the, that's the case where it, uh, that's after this one, the, the question. Okay, kaya nga eh, sir, you're an attorney, right? Kung nasa korte tayo, pagagalitan ka ng judge, sira na agad yung credibility ng dokumentong yan just because meron diyang pumirma na patay na. Pagagalitan ka ng judge, you know better, you're a lawyer. Giba na agad yung credibility ng dokumentong yan. Regardless, hindi natatanggapin yan. Kasi, kasi nung alingan eh. Fraud. Fraudulent. Involved yan sa dokumentong yan. So, who would believe that? And it will not be accepted as evidence sa korte. 
why did you sign a public document or notarize a, a document uh, knowing fully well that some of these uh, workers has already passed away? Your Honor, you did it in good faith, but that was not in good faith. Yeah, Your Honor, during the time I already explained it last hearing, Your Honor. When uh, last hearing, I already explained why did I sign it, this document, Your Honor. I, 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 because, okay, I'll cut you short. Huh? You signed it, ang nakalagay doon, personally appeared before me. Pero yung dalawa, they, they did not personally appear before you, kasi patay na eh. Yes, Your Honor. But you have to sign it, knowing fully well that these two has already passed away. Again, Your Honor, that's why in 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 my notarial register and notary book, why in fact that book, Your Honor, was reported to the to the what you call this, Your Honor, to the notarial section of the city of Makati. I clearly indicate in there in that document that that, that these two person did not appear to me. Uh, you know, si Attorney Capuno, can you please shed light doon sa sinabi ng 1.9 million na binayarin din sa mga workers? Uh, Your Honor, I, I apologize to the committee. We're not yet the counsel at that time, Your Honor, back in 2009. We're only aware of this uh, copy of deed and or certificate of redemption of real property, which is a subject of the discussion of the Supreme Court in their decision, Your Honor. And in the said uh, acknowledgement portion, of the said document, it only stated here, see attached ID. Uh, it says here, if I may quote, before me, a notary public for and above the jurisdiction, this 29-2009 at Makati City personally appeared, and then see attached ID. That is uh, the only note in the acknowledgement portion of the deed, Your Honor. To that extent, Your Honor, that is only our personal knowledge. All right, thank you, Attorney. Okay, uh, Mr. Austria. Sinabi mo nag, uh, you settled the workers in the amount of 1.9 million. Am I am I correct? Is that what I heard from you? Yes, Your Honor. Mag, paano naging hatian? Paano naging hatian po? Paano naging hatian do sa mga workers? How much did each worker receive out of this 1.9 million? I'm not personally that you aware. Settled, that you allegedly settled. I'm not personally aware po, but uh, I presume na it was equally divided among them, among the workers. Attorney Gascon, pwede mo sagutin yung tanong ko? Yes, sir. Hmm. Magkano naging hatian bawat manggagawa? Uh, during, 1. During that time, I have no personal knowledge how they were going to divide it because uh, the the one that we are paid is all the claims, Your Honor, as the awarded by the NLRC, Your Honor. Okay, who gave the 1.9 million? I'm the one who gave it, Your Honor. To their, counsel, to their to their counsel in the presence of the of the of the complainants, Your Honor. Senior counsel and complainants. During that time, Your Honor, he was represented by uh uh, uh Billiamor Mostrales, Your Honor. And where Billiamor Mostrales, Your Honor. Billiamor Mostrales, Your Honor. The first name is Billiamor? Uh, yes, Your Honor. You gave the 1.9 million to them, uh, to him? Yes, Your Honor, with the presence of the other workers, Your Honor. How many workers were present? Uh, during that time, there are six. Six, including Rebueno? Yes, Your Honor, he was there. But he did not receive any amount? I would be glad how they receive it or how they will divide it. I don't know, Your Honor. Where, in fact, Your Honor, the other workers are here. Okay, binigay mo yung 1.9 million kay dun sa council nila. Hiningan mo na resibo. We didn't ask receipt, Your Honor, because the documents, as I have said before, all the documents that we, the receipt that the document, the documents that they sign is uh, as the receipt that they that is all our fruit, Your Honor. Because I would tend to believe, Mr. Rebueno, dahil sinabi niya, wala siya natatanggap. Eh di, ikaw rin, wala kang, wala kang proof na tumanggap itong si <coughs> Mr. Rebueno ng, ng kanyang share out of the 1.9 million. Uh, it's the, the again, Your Honor, that the, our our only uh, fruit is the one that they signed that which after which uh, after one year that they questioning. Well, in fact, Your Honor, uh, if 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 uh, if if the committee uh, of the chair, uh, what you call this, allow uh, the other complainants can testify on it. 
Uh, wait, uh, before that, I would like to acknowledge the presence of uh, Senator Jesus Codero. Pwede makasingit, uh, Mr. Chair. Senator Rafi. Okay. Di ba pag may mga settlement tulad niyan, uh, merong litigation doon sa lupang pinag-usapan natin ngayon, property. Uh, at sabi mo po, Mr. Austria, you were made aware just two years ago. Pero, pero, wala ka pa pala. Uh, pero nandun ka na sa, ano, sa DMCI, right? I was, I was in DMCI. Pag meron mga desisyon ng settlement, Apo. ano dapat ang nangyari bago magkaroon ng settlement? Mr. Attorney Gascon, you can answer. Nagpapaalam po nila sa, ano, sa, sa? duly authorized uh, And persons. who is who are these duly, duly authorized persons para i-bigyan ng green light ang settlement? In in that in that particular case po ang uh, nagpapaalam po sila kanino silang papaalam po sa sa treasurer po namin who is okay. also a member of the board. Be, bukod sa treasurer kanino pa po dapat sa main list doon sa treasurer po namin siya po ay member treasurer of the board. lang siya po ay member of the board also so isa lang ilang ba ang members of the board right now there i think there are nine nine Di ba karapat dapat lang lahat ng members ng board ay mapagsabihan at dapat magkaroon ng botohan at board resolution para aprubahan yung magaganap na settlement. So meron bang board resolution na naganap? Uh, hindi po kasi ang uh, board resolution po is authorizing our treasurer to to handle such issues. Kaya nga, so the meron bang board resolution authorizing the treasurer to handle that settlement of 1.9 million? Uh, wala po. Maliit lang po oh. kasi yung amount kaya hindi po kailangan ng... Maliit so, lang pero malaking kaso ito. Opo. Pero yung board... So, ibig sabihin... Po, so, so hanggang saan ba yung malaki sa inyo na para malaman magkaroon ng resolution? Hanggang saan ba yung maliit? Define maliit and define is malaki sa terms po ninyo dyan sa DMCI. How do you treat cases as maliit at and as malaki? Meron pong ano, in, in, in our company just like any other companies no merong levels of authorization po pero may kaso to sa korte eh di ba yes and and the, the board must have known it that this you, there is an ongoing case and this case is being settled right here right now dapat man lang hindi na bypass itong board okay. sinabi sa board na okay mag magsettle na tayo we're gonna take off the monkey of your box ayusin na namin to You inform the board, and then the board will pass a resolution allowing that settlement to happen. Yes. Oh. Um, so a lot of cases, hindi na po dumarating sa board. Well, then, kasi, may mga lapses kayo dito. May mga problema talaga kayo. Kasi gumagawa kayo sa industry. Ito pa lang si Mr. Gaston. Hindi lang pala ito, ano, eh, maroon magbuhay ng patay. Magikero din pala ito. Hmm. Diba? Diba? Dito, marami po kayong mga pagkukulang. Hindi po nasunod yung mga protocol. Kaya naakyat sa korte yung kaso. Kasi kung nasunod yung proseso, hindi na kailangan nila umakyat sa korte. Uh, Attorney Gascon, I mean, at Attorney Capuno, uh, bakit inakyat ang kaso sa court, Supreme Court kung nasettle na as what they said, yung 1.9 million? Uh, Your Honor, because of the unfavorable decisions of the labor arbiter nullifying their deed of redemption, uh, that is the uh, falsified document, Your Honor. The labor arbiter nullified it and ordered the cancellation of the TCT under the name of uh, uh, Tagigland, now under the MCI, ordering the issuance of a new title in the name of the laborer. So uh, the MCI elevated it to the NLRC. The NLRC affirmed the decision of the labor arbiter. Uh, the MCI elevated it to the Court of Appeals. Uh, the Court of Appeals also affirmed the two decisions of the arbiter and the NLRC, and then they brought it up to the uh, Supreme Court, Your Honor. Tanyan, NLRC, CA, and the Supreme Court meron decision in favor of the complainant. Antitigas pa rin ang ulo ninyo, ayaw pa rin maniwala. Ano bang kailangan nyo? Kailangan iakit pa kay Hiso Cristo? 
Kataas-taasan na yung Supreme Court. Ayaw niyo pa rin maniwala. Go ahead, Mr. Austria. You're the president. You might want to answer it. I was informed po na um, when, the, when we got the order from the Supreme Court, then we uh, settled with the workers. Po. You, you did settle with the workers? Uh, then yes. why are they here if you offer so a There them? are six workers involved. Po. No, and um, five of them no, we have been able to settle with. Um, okay, Attorney Capuno, since ikaw, ikaw ang abogado sa, sa isang natitirang complainant, so is it true na kipagsettle sa, sa ibang complainant and bakit itong si Mr. Bueno hindi kasama sa settlement? Uh, Your Honor, when the uh, Supreme Court decision on the third division was issued, which later on became final and executory, the laborers filed the writ of execution before the labor arbiter Kapinig, where the case uh, was uh, or is currently uh, pending, Your Honor. We were also surprised, Your Honor, to learn that uh, DMCI was able to talk to the five uh, laborers, Your Honor. At that time, uh, we are representing them, uh, the, the laborers. But uh, we were not informed that uh, DMCI talked to them to straightly, directly to the, uh, to the laborers involved. And uh, we were only made known about their settlement when they filed uh, a motion for the approval of the compromise agreement before the labor arbiter, Your Honor. Mr. Ribueno uh, was not part of that uh, settlement, Your Honor. We were surprised. We were caught uh, in surprise, Your Honor, to learn that uh, DMCI uh, went directly to the laborers for the settlement, Your Honor. Ano ba ibig sabihin mo, they went directly to the workers? Ibig sabihin pinayaran DMCI? Usually, Your Honor, in, in a case pending before any agency or tribunal, when there are talks about settlement, the usual practice is for the lawyer to talk to another lawyer representing the uh, laborers. That's the usual practice, Your Honor. But in this case, Your Honor, we were surprised that... Uh, they went directly to the laborers. So again, dinasunod yung protocol. So talagang mahilig kayong gumamit ng guerrilla tactics dyan sa DMCI. So dapat lawyer to lawyer. Alam mo yan, bilang isang abogado, bilang respeto sa kop mga abogado. Diba? Dapat inimpormahan mo yung abogado nila na, okay, panyero, yung apat mong kliyente, magkikipag-share sa amin, gusto bang subama? para mag-witness, et cetera, et cetera. Hindi mo ginawa. Talaga mahilig kang, alam, madidisbar ka lang din di oras ko. No, Your Honor. Uh, when when uh, this case are, uh, when the Supreme Court already, uh, what you call this, uh, issued a resolution in First Division that uh, there is, uh, what you call this, that the workers are entitled to one, one six, a uh, one-third of the property, Your Honor. Uh, assert, uh, their lawyer, Attorney Arellano, uh, which is their main counsel, Your Honor, uh, what you call this, uh, came to us and wrote a letter to us, Your Honor. We, we are keep, keep on saying, Your Honor, that we cannot, uh, we cannot, uh, we cannot go, we, we cannot talk to you because under the, what you call this, uh, the workers as, as uh, presented to us are the, the, the counsel are still the, the attorney Kapulong or the Sigyon Reina, Your Honor. Uh, because of that, Your Honor, uh, the, we asked the labor during the recently, Your Honor, we asked the we, we were very confused, Your Honor, who are the the the, the counsel of the workers? Because as per uh, Sigyon Reyna or Attorney Capulog, they're saying that they are the the, the lawyer of the okay, Wait a minute. So, nung uh, nakausap niyo yung apat para aregluhin, kausapin, okay? Present by mga lawyers nila? It's attorney, uh, Your Honor. We, we, we don't want to talk to, to them first, Your Honor, because as far as them... Hindi nga, hindi nga. Kaya nga, nung, nung uh, sabi mo, nag-offer ka ng settlement, kinausap niyo po yung apat na complainers na makasama ni Mr. Bueno. Yes, Your Honor. The, so, the lawyer is present. Informan niyo muna yung lawyers nila. Yes, Your representing Honor. Representing them. Yes, Your Honor. And were, you, you, you did uh, make sure na yung lawyer na yon talagang legally uh, yes your honor uh, representative yes your honor no, because uh, in, in the labor arbitrary the presence okay, of gusto ko lang tanong mo lang yes or no yes your honor attorney capuno so 
ang sinasabi niya, hindi daw ikaw ang ano, uh, lawyers ng apat. Uh, Your Honor, in that regard, uh, if you'd like to comment on that, that there are certain inconsistencies already on the statement of the counsel because they said that uh, they do not know who actually represents the uh, complainants and yet they proceeded on the settlement with the complainants and acknowledging a certain representation as their counsel, Your Honor, where in fact, before the uh, there was a conference held before uh, labor arbiter uh, Kapinig where the parties were asked who their counsel uh, was and uh, three of them identified this representation, our law office, as their counsel, Your Honor. And yet they proceeded with the uh, settlement without the assistance of uh, this representation, Your Honor. Attorney Gascon, would you like to react? Uh, Your Honor, uh, because we there are two councils are representing the council, and so that's why uh, the labor arbiter on September in September 14, Your Honor, called uh, a hearing, Your Honor, in order for for to confirm who are the councils co council of the complainant, Your Honor, and during that hearing, Your Honor, the the what we call this the the workers. Uh, manifested with the labor arbiter that uh, they are that uh, attorney Arellano is the real counsel, Your Honor, not the attorney Capuno. And because of that, Your Honor, those who only who are represented by attorney Arellano, uh, they are the one that we settled, Your Honor. Attorney Capuno? Uh, Your Honor, there was, Mr. Ribuene could confirm this, that they even reached out to Mr. Ribuene for uh, settlement without. Uh, the knowledge of his counsel, Your Honor, if Mr. Rebueno could be allowed to speak, Your Honor. Uh, yes, Mr. Rebueno. Uh, Your Honor, uh, ang kaso po namin noon, simula, noong September 1996, noong uh, November 8, uh, 19, 2008, natuklasan po namin na niloko kami ng Lawin uh, Law Firm. Sapagkat uh, ibinenta po nila yung tatlong unit ng bus sa halagang 1 million. Kaya uh, nandito po yun siya. Sino po nang loko sa inyo, sir? Ang ano po doon, nagbenta si Mostrales, si Villamor Mostrales, na tauhan po ng Arellano Law Office. Oh, okay. Ngayon po, nung matuklasan po namin yun, na ito pala ay binenta noong uh, 2004, December 6, so, 2004. So, ibig sabihin ng itong ito ano niyo? Ito po yung ano, gamit yung, po yung aming mga ano Ano po yung aming law firm? Arellano. Arellano Law Office po. Tauhan po ito si Villamor uh, Mostrales. Okay. Nung matuklasan po namin na ito ay uh, nagbenta noong 2008, hindi na po namin siya kinuha, abogado, sapagkat uh, gumagawa po siya ng mga uh, pagkilos na hindi namin alam. Gagaya po nito na ibinenta nung matuklasan na namin 2008 na. So nawalan po kami ng tiwala sa Arellano Law Office. Sa katunayan po, nung mag-file ang DMCI ng third-party claim noong uh, February 15, 2007, ang subagot po noon nung uh, motion to dismiss si Atty. Uh, Mendoza na ang subagot. Hindi na po namin kinuha si ang Arellano Law Office, sapagat nawalan nga po kami ng tiwala at hindi na namin sila inintindi pa. Yun naman pala, Mr. At noong Mr. ano po, noong 2000. Yun naman pala, Atty. Gascon, eh, niloko sila, manluloko yung kanilang abogado, kaya tinanggal na nila, kumuha na sila ng ibang abogado. So, hindi ba kayo gumawa ng pag-check? due diligence to make sure na yun talaga pa rin ang abogado at hindi itong abogado na sa halip tulungan sila, lulukuhay ba sila? Your Honor, during the time in, in previous years, uh, they keep on coming to our office and then uh, still uh, the Arellano Law Office are still representing them. 
during that time. Pero, so very, very, even, even also, Your Honor, in before, even after 2008? Yes, Your Honor. When, when was the last time that uh, uh, the law firm, Arellano law firm, represented them that you saw these people uh, in your office representing Mr. Rodriguez? Well, in Mr. fact, he was also Etal. there, Your Honor. Huh? And there, he was also there. And in fact, there is a picture, Your Honor, that they're together with, with, the, with the group of the of the attorney Arellano. Kaya nga, anong date nga po ito? Uh, it's since 2008, 2009, 2000, until 2022, Your Honor, he was there. The Arellano? Local yes, Your Honor, and we're in factoring in the labor. There? Yes, Your Honor. Accompanying the complainants, yes, Your including Honor. Mr. Rebueno? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Rebueno, sir. Kasi kung totoo sinasabi mo, Mr. Rebueno, na niloko kayo noong 2008, Nila, dahil uh, binenta nga yung lupa at uh, sinibak nyo na yung kanilang serbisyo, sinibak nyo na sila sa pagiging uh, abogado ninyo, eh bakit, kung totoo sinasabi ni Atty. Gascon, eh bakit nagpagkita pa rin kayo sa kanila up to 2020? Mr. Atty. Gascon, up to what year? Up to 2020... During the pandemic, Your Honor, okay. still coming 2020, to our... 2020, at pupunta pa kayo sa opisina kasama ito si Attorney Arellano. Pwede ko kayo mag-react, uh, Mr. Bueno. In 2020, Your Honor. Ah, hindi na po namin talaga abogado, abogado ang lawin. Hindi nga po. Kung hindi nyo na po abogado, ah, marami po nagigipatas na... na po ako dito sa RAP. Kung hindi nyo na po abogado, sinibak nyo na nga po. Sila, dahil manluloko nga itong Arellano, law firm, sabi niyo po, then dapat hindi niyo na po sila kinakausap at hindi na po kayo sumasama-sama sa kanila. Uh, binanggit pa ho nitong si Atty. Gascon, uh, up to 2020, pupunta kayo sa tanggapan ng uh, DMCI, DMCI and kasama itong si Arellano. Ay hindi po namin kinukuha na talaga kahit sa ang hearing. Hanggang sa... Uh, eh, hindi po namin kinuha na yun. Pinuto lang nga po namin yung komunikasyon. Sa kanta, uh, sapagkat uh, uh, naintindihan po namin na niloloko okay. kami. De, ginong Lilyo, ang uh, sinasabi ni Atty. Gascon, ang sinasabi nyo, pinutol nyo na ang inyong relasyon doon sa abogado na 2008. Pero, lagi pa rin kayo pupunta sa opisina ng DMCI hanggang 2020. O, totoo yan. At Para meron daw silang... Siya na kami doon. Can I show the picture that he was in the office of Attorney Arellano recently? How recent is that? Recent month, Your Honor. I think last month. Only this month, Your Honor. September. Nung nakarapot daw, nandun kayo sa opisina ng Attorney Arellano. Ah, Attorney... Villamor. Attorney Capuno, you might want to help. Your Honor, I client. think that uh, recent photo pertains to the uh, recent set attempt to settle and compromise with the laborers where the MCI went directly to the laborers, Your Honor. I think that's the uh, the instance uh, the council was saying, Your Honor. Uh, Mr. Bueno, totoo ba na nandun kayo sa opisina ng the MCI nitong buwan na ito o nakaraang buwan? Nakaraang uh, totoo po yun. Inaakit po ako. Uh, na sino po nag-imbita sa inyo? Uh, mga sino po nagpatawag sa inyo? Kung saan loob ba kayo pumunta sa kanila o uh, may, meron po tumawag sa inyo para pumunta sa opisina ng DMC? Yung kasamahan ko po sa kaso. Sino na, po yung kasamahan niyo sa kaso? Kalok ko kayo nalang nag-isa. Inibitahan po kami na di umano ay ibibenta yung lupa. Okay. Namin. So, inamin mo na nandun kayo sa opisina ng DMCI. Ano ang naging areglo ninyo? Ang naging usapan ninyo? Ang uh, usapan, kinukumbinsi po ako na, na pumirma na ibenta namin sa DMCI ang lupa namin. When in fact, na ibenta po namin na yun kay uh, Raymond Ang. Nauna na po yun. Hmm. Nung, uh, so, ano, ano sinabi nila? Uh, Uh, ano yung natin ito, ibenta na natin ito sa kwan. Sabi ko, o sige, tingnan ko yung ano, tingnan ko yung uh, So, sorry, Mr. Chair, uh, Mr. Bueno, Mr. Bueno, 
uh, you have to be very careful doing some answers mo. If you cannot answer it correctly or properly, then consult your lawyer. Kasi nga po, noong 2008, niloko ka na nitong si Arellano Law Firm. Bakit recently, sumama ka pa rin sa kanila para magipag-negotiate o magipag-usap? Eh, niloko ka na, di ba? Niloko na kayo, o ba't pa kayo magipag-usap sa mga manloloko? Di ba, di ba natural na lamang, Sandel, pag naturalmente lamang po, nakapag yung isang tao na niloko na tayo, huwag na tayong magtiwala sa kanila. Eh, sumama ka pa rin sa, sa attempt na magkaroon ng areglohan. You might want to answer that, Attorney Capuno. Your Honor, uh, in that regard, because uh, uh, the MCI went directly to the complainants, Your Honor, to the laborers. Regrettably, we were not uh, were you, aware. Were you the council? Kailan po kayo naging council? Uh, we were engaged, Pereta? Your Honor, starting June last year, 2022, Your Honor. 2022. So, in 2020, hindi po kayong council? Not yet, Your Honor. So, yung tinanggal niyo po, kasi sabi niyo po, niloko, niyo, niloko kayo ni, ng Arellano Law Firm. Sino pong kinuha niyong abogado, Mr. Bueno? Meron bang kapalit na abogado kayong nilapitan, law firm? Meron po. Sino po yun? Meron po yun si Attorney Vino, uh, Attorney Mendoza. Mendoza? Uh, marami po kami nakuha. Okay, so may, meron po pa kayong dokumentong pirmahan na kinukuha niyo po uh, bilang retainer at abogado niyo, itong si Attorney Mendoza? Meron po kaming file yan. Okay. Well, so, 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 for... Ah, itong uh, DMCI na si Attorney Mendoza ang bago naming counsel dahil itong si uh, Attorney Arellano ay niloko kami. Meron pa po kaming kinuha ng abogado si Attorney Mora. Attorney uh, Raul Mora. Mora, okay. Again, na na-inform ho ba ang DMCI na si Attorney Mendoza and Attorney Mora are these two lawyers who will be representing us from now on? after 2008. Meron ho ba kayong mga dokumentong pinirmahan na kinukuha niyo bilang retainer niyo itong dalawang abogado and na-inform ho ba itong DMCI? Attorney Capuno, i-guide mo na lang. Meron. Okay. So, Attorney Gascon, so, you were properly informed, according to Mr. Bueno, na si Attorney Mendoza and Attorney Mora ang kanilang bagong counsel. Pero bakit si Attorney Arellano pa rin ang palagi niyong kinukonta? Parang nananasyata uh, kayo. No, Your Honor. Uh, Attorney Mendoza and Attorney Mora, the one that they saying that he that they hired, he is the lawyer of another uh, claimant, Your Honor. That is uh, the party that Allegedly, that they sold their right before. But you were properly informed by. No, no, Your Honor, we are not properly informed by that because during that time, it's always Attorney Arellano who are. Hindi nga pero meron daw silang dokumento na nagpirmahan sila ni Attorney Mendoza at Attorney Mora. We have no record, Your Honor. Meron ka yung dokumento, Attorney Attorney Capuno. You might want to help your client. Meron ba yung dokumento na showing na? na ang bagong abogado niyo na ay si Attorney Mendoza at Attorney Mora, uh, kapalit ni Attorney Arellano? Meron po kaming, uh, meron po kaming file niyan. Meron. Your Honor. And you have that with you? Uh, di ko lang po dala ngayon. Okay. May, may meron po siya lang. You send it to us Entry of appearance. Year. Okay. At, uh, at the same time nga po nung sila ay nag-file na... Uh, so meron po kayon entry of appearance. So yun po ipinakita niyo sa kanila. Opo. Oh, Oo. Oh. Attorney Gascon, he said, she said na to. So, magpapakita siya ng dokumento na meron siyang entry of appearance at ka rin niyo po presenta yung document na yun. The stating na may entry of appearance na sa amin itong si na Attorney uh, Mendoza and Attorney Mora. Ka rin niyo po presenta yung dokumento yun. Ka rin niyo po binigay. Ka rin niyo po pinakita, sinumite. Ah, yun po ay... Uh na ano yun, dahil may entry of appearance, tapos po, Your Honor, anong... Hindi, kanina nyo po binigay yung dokumento yon sa DMCI. Sino doon sa DMCI ang binigyan nyo? Hello. Sa kanila po kasi yung reply po, Your Honor, nung Hindi, ano... Kanino nga po? Kanino? At... Kanino? Sino doon?
Yung sa DNCI po, meron po kami kopya na binigay sa kanila. Okay, so may receive copy. Your Honor, okay. so, go ahead, Attorney Capulano. So, yung gusto ko naman i-clear. So, sabi niya, binigay sa DMCI, so dapat yung may receive. Diba? Yung parang ni-receive copy. Yes, Your Honor, we have that kind of document, Attorney Capulano. I'm sorry, Your Honor, if I may. Uh, Your Honor, in, in no. the usual practice, when a counsel uh, enters its appearance in court, the parties are furnished a copy of the entry of appearance that would serve as a notice to the party that a new counsel is representing the complainant. Who, who is supposed to furnish that copy? Uh, the, the counsel filing the entry of appearance, Your Honor. So that is supposed to be Attorney Mendoza and Attorney Mora? Yes, Your Honor. That they is part of the uh, records of the, of the case, Your Honor. Okay. So since they're not here, we cannot ask them. My question kasi sana, if meron tayong kopya ng dokumento na na-receive yung uh, do document na yon na telling the MCI na they are the new lawyers. Yes, Your Honor. You might want to look for that. We'll, we'll check the records, Your Honor. Okay. Kasi kapag merong ganun dokumento, then may problem na naman tong the MCI. Pinaipas na naman nila yung mga abogado na totoo Your Honor, na yun talaga ang Your Honor. legit. Your Honor, Your Honor, if you might may add on the discussion regarding the uh, alleged settlement in year 2009, as mentioned uh, earlier, if I may quote the portion of the, the decision of the Supreme Court, uh, it stated there that, I quote, the above cited statement demonstrates that the signatures of respondents were pro uh, fraudulently placed in the, in the said deed of redemption and quit claim. Villamor A. Mostrales, open close parenthesis, Mostrales, the representative of their previous counsel gave them 100,000 pesos in the guise that it was the proceeds of an open close close to the insurance from a, a surety company and they were made to sign blank pages with their names. However, before the LA, it was shown that it was Attorney Gascon, the lawyer of DMCI, who gave the money to Mostrales, believing that the latter was a lawyer. Evidently, the consent of the respondents was fraudulently secured in this said deed of redemption and quit claim. These are the words of the Supreme Court, uh, Your Honor. Uh, if earlier it was mentioned that there was a settlement made in year 2009, but the findings of the Supreme Court stated that it is not 1.9 million that was given to the respondents, but only 100,000 pesos only. And it was not as a settlement of the labor case, but only uh, the proceeds of an insurance from a surety company, Your Honor. I'm just lifting the, the okay. findings of the Supreme now, Court, Your Honor. Now, Attorney Gascon, tell me, tell us, nagsisinuling bang Supreme Court? Doon sa inisyo nilang uh, statement? That's the finding of the but we find your honor with that. Sino mas paniniwalaan ko? Ikaw, Supreme Court. Sino ang dapat paniniwalaan ko? Sige, sumagot ka. Be careful with your answer. Of course, your honor. It's the, it's the wordings of the Supreme Court. And exactly. The Supreme Court. There you go. Basi sa sinabi ng wording sa Supreme Court, ikaw ay sinungaling. Sinasabi ninyo, kay dyan sa DMCI, na nagbayad kayo ng 1.9 million para sa lahat ng complainant, pero ay para, para areglo doon sa kanilang claim. Wala sabi ng Supreme Court, hindi, 100,000 naman binigay ninyo at niloko nyo pa. Hindi nyo sinabi ka areglo, kundi, repeat it again, Attorney Gascon, 100,000 is for? I quote, sir, uh, the 100,000 in the guise that it was the proceeds of an insurance from a surety company. Insurance from a surety company. In the guise. See? Ibig sabihin, niloko nyo itong mga tao. You said 1.9 million. The Supreme Court said no. 100,000 lamang. You said the 1.9 is para pang areglo. The Supreme Court said no. Walang 1.9, meron 100,000, pero yun ay para uh, sa insurance. In the guise na yun ay para sa insura at para sa surety. O, sige, sabihin mo mali ang Supreme Court. Sige, subukan mo. No, Your Honor. I'm not saying that the Supreme Court is uh, wrong, Your Honor. Uh, Very clear yung wording sa Supreme Court doon. 
Hindi naman, the Supreme Court will not come up with that kind of decision, with that kind of wordings doon sa dokumento ang binabasahan, binabasa ni Mr. Capuno without all the, the documentations presented to them, all the pieces of evidence, the Supreme Court did due diligence. It, it, it took them years before they come up with that kind of decision. Hindi ka tulad sa iyo, moro-moro ang decision mo, moro-moro yung mga pinagagawa mo. Kaya nga, yung buhay, kaya mo, yung patay, kaya mo buhayin. Your Honor, the, the one uh, the one that would distribute that is Mr. Mustarales, Your Honor. It's not, it's... No, let's talk about the Supreme Court ano, decision. Yung wordings doon sa, sa dokumento na galing sa Supreme Court. Nasabi mo, 1.9 million pesos pang areglo sa lahat ng complainan. Right? Sabi ng Supreme Court, it didn't happen. Kundi, 100,000 lamang. At 100,000, e eh, nilokom nyo pa sila. Sinabi, e eh, yan ay para sa insurance. E eh, yan ay para sa insurance at uh, surety. Hindi areglo. Ako. Attorney, excuse me, Senator Rafi. What is the, you filed an MR before the Supreme Court? That's uh, in the first division, Your Honor. We filed the MR. Special reconsideration, Your Honor, because uh, uh, the Supreme Court already uh, uh, gave a pronouncement that the one third is. Uh, ano decision yung binawa baso mo? First division, Attorney Kabuno. Uh, I'm reading the first, the Supreme Court first, first division. division. Decision, All right. Your Honor. You filed an MR before the first division. Partial MR. MR the, has it been resolved? Not yet. Not. So it is most unlikely that uh, they will not uh, reverse their own decision. What if they uh, deny your uh, MR? Uh, yeah, no, if, if they deny your MR, that's why uh, recently we already, uh, when the Supreme Court uh, decision came that they are only entitled to one third, uh, the complainant already, because your Honor, came to, uh, again to the MCA for settlement, your Honor. Binagit mo yung MR, Mr. Gascon. Uh, motion for reconsideration. Doon po, partial, Your Honor. Partial motion for reconsideration. Doon po sa naging decision ng Supreme Court. Ano yung mga bagong ebidensya yung isinumiti mo para sabihin sa Supreme Court na dapat pakikingan kayo dahil nagsasabi kayo na totoo? Kasi uh, sabi ng Supreme Court, 100,000 lamang. Ang sabi mo, 1.9. Ano yung mga dokumentong isinumiti mo para makorek? Kung meron man dapat i-correct doon sa decision ng Supreme Court. I'm not the one who filed the... the well, articles, but you're not the one to, who, who did file that, pero ha, nasaan na yung MR ninyo? Ano mga naka-attach doon sa MR ninyo? Hindi naman pwede mag magpapadala ka ng MR ng walang attachments. Um, Yeah. I'm sorry, Your Honor, we don't have the copy of the... Oh. Eh, alam mo, mag tayo at itong pag-uusapan natin. Eh, hindi mo dinala? Eh, abogado ka, di ba? Pagpupunta ka sa korte sa isang hearing, pag may kaso ka. Who we filed the MR? It's our yeah. external counsel, Your Honor. Huh? It's our local office, Your Honor. Not you? Not me, Your Honor. Why? I thought you're the lead counsel of uh, the MCA. Uh, no, we, we have our external counsel, Your Honor. Pero, pero kahit na, Mr. Chair, kahit na hindi sila nag-file, at least yung pinahil ng council before, Didn't I give you a copy of the MR? Uh, yes, Your Honor. It's in the office, Your Honor. So, nasaan na po yung MR? Wait, Mr. Chair. It was in the... Unfortunately, it was not... We will provide, Your Honor, if, oh. the, if, if provide mo yung MR ninyo, anong nakasaad doon, and then ano yung mga new... Uh, information and pieces of evidence na prinsinta ninyo para para eh, kuliktad. Yes, Your Honor. Kung meron man dapat may correct Yes, Your Honor. Di ba? Yes. Doon sa decision ng Supreme Court, it has been correct. It should be corrected because these are the documents we are presenting you stating na ito yung tama. Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Ah, si, si okay, Senator Chis. Senator Chis. He's been waiting for it's okay. several minutes. I was listening. Um, some preliminaries, uh, Mr. Chairman, um, with the permission of Senator Tulfo. Um, may I ask, Attorney Gascon, ano yung partially nire-reconsider nyo sa decision ng First Division? Uh, 
again, Your Honor, we are, we we raise with the Supreme Court the their observation first that the uh, with, with regard to this pronouncement that, that that there was fraud. Yes, Your Honor. Hey, what else? Uh, We are answering your honor the the observation of the Supreme Court about the fraud. We are explaining to them. Uh, we we here we are. Your honor. Yung conduct nila. Pero hindi nyo kina question na may one third supposed. Yes, your honor. Ka. Yes, your honor. When did you bring bring up the issue of the one third? Because uh, fraud this time, even when you bought the interests of TLDC, you were presuming that you have the entire property. When did you bring up the fact that? Um, they own one third and you own two thirds? Uh, from the very start, Your Honor. We, we, when they still, when uh, they're already claiming that the one six, we are already arguing that they're what not. Year? The, maybe around, Your Honor, two, 2009, Your Honor, 2009. 2009. Yes. Um, yes, sir. Attorney Austria, thank you for coming. Uh, Mr. Austria, thank you for coming, sir. When. Was um, DMCA Project Development Incorporated incorporated? What I year? Be, I believe it's around 1995. 1995. When did you assume the interests of TLDC and how? Around 2000, year 2000, through a merger. Year 2000. Um, what was the process? You bought TLDC? Or was TLDC really owned by the MCF? Uh, it was through a merger. Merger. It was through a merger of, two, of the company. Merger. Who owned TLDC before? I'm not aware, Your Honor. Sir, when? I'm, I'm not aware. Uh... Are the previous officers of TLDC still part of the MCI Project Inc.? Sorry, Project the, Developers Inc.? Sorry, the merger was in 1997. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, it's not in our records right now who the owner is. And I presume that the merger was done in pursuit of an interest of the MCI, correct? Mm, yes. Some preliminaries again, Mr. Chairman. The MCI projects develop, project develop, developers Inc. is wholly owned by the MCI. Yes, the MCI Holdings Incorporated. Wholly owns the MCI Holdings. The listed company wholly owns the MCI Project Developers Inc. Correct, sir? Uh, 100%. It's uh, almost 100, well, nearly 100%, but not totally. But hindi magiging 100%? Holy on knife. Uh, hindi think... naman listed ang project developers, Inc. Ang listed no. DMCA holdings. Correct, correct. But the profits, income of the MCA project developers, Inc. are all referred to the holdings company, which is listed, correct, sir? Correct. <clears throat> no, sir. I asked the question because, um, Mr. Chairman, it was TLDC who bought the land from the Las Laxinas, which included the respondent in the labor case. Three siblings, that's why they're basing their claim on the one third because only one sibling had an unfavorable judgment from the NLRC. Now, um, sir, itong proper thing to, katabi ba ito ng development ng DMCI o may katabing property na pag-aari ng DMCI, itong kila Laksina? Yes, katabi po. Katabi? Yes. Katabi po o nasa gitna? Katabi Nang kasalukuyang po. development ninyo? Katabi po. Katabi po. It's not surrounded by DMCI properties that you own? Surrounded. surrounded. Well, there are other properties of DMCI around it. Oh. Exactly. Oh. So, DMCI proper own properties surround the Laxina property. Well, um, yes, yes. Well, we can get, we can get the map, sir. But in the adjacent, but 
there are a lot of properties there also. In this area? In this area. I'm just area. saying in this area, sir. In this general, that general area, yes. So would it be rational and logical to assume that it is essential for DMCI to get this property? Otherwise, may isla ka sa gitna ng development mo. That's why you had a merger, perhaps, with um, yes, with um, TLDC. Yes, we continuously try to acquire properties around that area, no, so that we can um, increase the development areas. But then again, there are other properties that we cannot procure, no. So we leave it at that. Mr. Chair, may we, may we request from the secretary to kindly request um, from the assessor's office in Tagig the location map in order to determine the location of the MCI properties in this particular area, as well as the TCT in question, which has two, two TCT numbers already, one in the name of the laborers and another one in the name of the um, of the MCI, which I presume contains the same technical description. Would that be correct? But I'm different, right? I can refer to the titles in the record. Um, TCT number 254, 25491 and your TCT, TCT number 12619. I presume it contains the same area, right? Right. Yes, yeah. Your Honor. So that we can see the whole picture, Mr. Chairman. Um, now, may I ask the Register of Deeds? The main reason why Senator Tulfo filed this um, filed this um, resolution to, to, to inquire was because there was already a final and executory decision by the um, labor arbiter later on the NLRC in fact, one of the cases pending before the Supreme Court, if not finally resolved, was um, a case involving a consulta through the LRA. Sir, may I ask, were you the Register of Deeds when this point in question was brought up in consulta? Good morning, Your Honor. I am still, I am not the RD at the time when the consulta was raised. Um, I only assumed the office last May 19, 2023. Sir, the consulta was raised in 2011. Yes, sir. Yes, now, sir. may I ask, sampu kayo galing bago maging register of deeds dun din, di ba? Sir, uh, before po, 2004, I was appointed deputy, acting deputy of Taguig, but I was transferred to Marikina in 2006, and then transferred again to, I was appointed RD of Mandaluyong in 2007, sir. But, I assumed office of Mandaluyong in 2018, po, sir. So you have extensive experience with being a register, being with the register of deeds. Yes, sir. Right? Now, sir, can you explain to me why would the register of deeds deny the annotation of an entry of judgment and even bring it up on consulta, which I find, to say the least, weird. Yes, sir. Sir, uh, technically, sir, the RD, with due respect, sir, did not deny the 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 annotation, sir, of the NLRC, but rather raise it in consulta on the uh, powers of NLRC to order the transfer of the title. And another issue that was raised in that consulta was whether the whole property is involved in the transfer. Sir, kasi nga po nakita natin na sinasabi ang contention nga nila so, one third. I agree, but on the first issue, whether or not the NLRC, what do, you, what do you say, has the power, blah, blah, blah. But the Register of Deeds of Taguig issued a certificate of title in the name of the laborers based on a ruling of the NLRC, yeah, it, um, on an award of the NLRC. Sir, uh, the RD did not yet uh, issue the title in the name of the laborer, sir. It is still pending, sir. Ayong sale. No, sir. The sale was registered in TCT 25491. Yes, sir. But under annotation, but the sale, sir, po, it pertains to the transfer to Tagig land, sir. Not yet to the laborer. Ah, dahil binenta nga noong 1995? Yes, po, sir. Tama ba? Yes, sir. So the annotation on title number 25... 491. 491, sir. The sale was annotated on June 30, 2009 on a December 29 document, sir, of a sale in favor of Taguig Land Development Corporation covering the said property, sir. Then, subsequent title was issued 
which is the present title is in favor of the MCI not yet sir mm. it's in favor of the Taguig Land Development Corporation sir mm -hmm. that's TCT number um 12619 yes your honor correct yes your honor now um may I ask where is your office sir in the eighth floor of SM Aura office tower Taguig sir previous to that sir previous Wala to that SM Aura na yes sir sir uh, the first office of the Taguig was uh, in Binang uh, in Rizal and then was transferred to the City Hall of Taguig, then later on the transferred to Bayani Road and then to SM Aura. Where in Bayani Road, sir? Sir, uh, along Bayani Road, sir, I do not have the exact address along Bayani Road, sir. You have people there? Uh, sir. When did you transfer to SM Aura? Uh, we transferred in. 2000s no no uh between sir 15 or 14 or 15 sir and prior to that can you ask your associate behind where the office of the register of deeds was located when it left uh, city hall sir they are not aware of the specific address sir, in Manong Bayan. just to clear the air i may ask the mci if um the register of deeds at any point in time leased a property from you for their offices not at all sir just to make sure no sir on the part of um the register of deeds sir can you find out yes sir i will look into the history of the uh rent sir now going back to um attorney austria um sir according to attorney gascon you began construction and development of the area correct sinimulan nyo na di ba ginagalaw nyo na yung lupang involved dito that was yes. his, what that was his statement earlier i'm um, in the previous hearing can you confirm that sir yes you're already developing the entire property hindi lang yung mga nasa balibot pati yung property in question uh not the entire property po kasi um uh, part of the property lang kasi i think i believe the the title involved is uh, 1600 1.6 hectares and Yung, and it was owned by three people. No? So the three one siblings. Three siblings. is, yeah, three siblings. So one third lang yung issue dito na kiniklaim nung, nung iba. No, yes, sir. Workers. You're referring to the, the one point something hectares covered by TCT 12619. Correct, sir? Yes, yes, sir. And it is your testimony that you're already developing part of the lot covered by TCT 12619. Yes. Which part, sir? Which part are we developing? Yes. Uh, the yung, it's a small part of the the entire of that property, no? A very who small decided part. who decided which part you will already begin development in? I presume you. Yes, our upon the recommendation of our project development team, no, yes. So, according to your lawyer, they themselves assume, that's why they did not seek a reconsideration anymore, that you bought only two-thirds and that the one-third pertains to um, Honorato Laxina. And that is the subject matter of this long story, correct? We, Kaya nga nagbayad kayo ng ilang beses, di ba? Sa mga laborer, sa abogado. I believe Dahil... we bought the entire property po. Sir? The entire property, we, we bought the entire property. The entire one. But we didn't know that yung one-third pala is uh, the subject of uh, litigation. Exactly, sir. If the one-third is the subject of litigation and the decision is not yet final, at least from your point of view, because you're still seeking a reconsideration from the laborers' point of view, they think it's final and the entire property belongs to them. Um, at best, you have an inchoate share of two-thirds that is undisputed from your point of view. Yes. But still disputed insofar as the one-third portion is concerned. Mm -hmm. So I asked Attorney Gascon earlier, why did you not seek partition? Who gave you the right to choose which area of the 1.6 hectares is your two-thirds? And this is the two-thirds of the laborers. Um, I don't quite get that. 
You're the one seeking to file se for several petitions before the Supreme Court, the Court of Appeals, and wherever, um, which makes it um, um, impossible for the laborers to actually collect what is due them. And yet you're acting as if everything is yours already. I don't get well, that, that, sir. That's because uh, there was a settlement in, way back in 2009. There was a settlement between the company, the MCI. Sir, the... that is precisely the subject matter of litigation that you're seeking a reconsideration from. Yes. Um, again, why assume? What if you lose? What if you well, lose? Uh, what will happen well, to your development? What will happen? What will be the effect to, your, to the listed company? Um, that um, is getting income from this particular corporation. What if you lose? I think it's too presumptuous for you to um, assume that you will win in the cases. That's why we're already developing. At the very least, prudence will dictate that you would slow down on the development, at least of this area, and proceed with the development of the other undisputed areas. Well, would that we, be correct, sir? Um, well, we didn't see anything irregular in it because there, there was a settlement, no, and. Uh, Sir, it is your belief that there is a settlement, but it is still the subject matter of litigation up to today. In fact, your lawyers just recently filed a motion for, for, for partial reconsideration precisely on that aspect, which yeah. called the actions of your, your lawyer, corporate counsel, fraudulent. Um, yeah, so how can you assume that everything is okay when you yourselves filed a motion for reconsideration, which is, a, which is an admission that the case is not yet final and executory? Well, I, I assumed it was all okay because um, the title was with us, and um, I was not made aware of any any particular risk related to the development. So your advice not done deal at all. Yes. And on your end, I'm not blaming you, sir. Huh? Meaning it's a risk yeah. worth taking. I well, I was not aware of any particular risk. Because the staff, um, they they go through the uh, the project details no? and uh, everything went through them. They said it's okay. So, sir, mm -hmm. yung decision on Supreme Court, na nagre-reconsideration kayo, stated that the deed of redemption on which you are relying your ownership of the one-third share is fraudulent. That's why you're seeking a reconsideration. Yes. If yes, you sir. lose in that reconsideration, Diba, sir? Yeah. Ede, sasabihin, one-third sa laborers pa dahil yung deed of redemption ng inaasahan nyo ay void and fraudulently executed. So, I will go back. Doesn't that put your company at risk? Developing, spending money already, getting permits, perhaps even already starting to sell. I don't know. I will ask that question later. And yet, may posibilidad na may ease lang ha equivalent to either one-third or the whole property na hindi ho inyo. At best, sir, you have an inchoate share in the property. You're not sure. From your point of view, you can be sure of that if you want to if you want to rely on the Supreme Court decision saying the laborers only have one-third. At best, you have a two-thirds inchoate share over the subject property, but not a definite part of the property. Um, so that is essentially the risk, sir, that you are facing. I'm not trying to apply as your attorney, sir, but your lawyers should have advised you in that way. Yes. Kaya nga reconsideration pa ho kayo eh. Yes, sir. Did we invite HLURB? Are they here? No. Let's invite them again um, to ask. By the way, sir, are you selling already? Are you pre-selling already? We have sold. Yes. The sold? properties, yes. Subdivision ba to o? Uh, ba to? These are condos. Medium, medium rice condominium buildings. In so far as the development in the affected area is concerned, have you pre sold units? We have. Um, that's the reason, Mr. Chairman, like that why I wanted to invite HLURB because it will further complicate matters. Um, if ever a ruling in the Supreme Court is adverse to your motion for reconsideration, or it will just mean you have to. Compromise with a higher amount because you cannot let go of your development anymore. Exactly. But, um, Madam, Ma'am, Ma'am, Attorney, Veronica, Veronica, the reason why we invited you is, um, um, although, um, the MCI um, project developers Inc. is not a listed mm -hmm. company, it's wholly owned by a listed company, 
Okay. Um, what disclosures, if any, need to be done by a holding company in relation to, um, siyempre, I used to play stocks before, so you read the news, yes. diba? you try to research on the company um, before you invest or buy stocks. Um, what, if any, is the relation of any pending case with respect to disclosures to be made with the PSE of a um, listed company? Are all pending matters in litigation? Um, should they all be divulged? Uh, we have a materiality threshold, Your Honor. Um, if a legal proceeding involves a subsidiary of a listed company and the claim amount is at least 10% of the listed company's total current assets, um, it has to be disclosed. If it does not, it doesn't. It doesn't. If, does, if it does not breach the materiality threshold. 10% of total? Total current assets of the listed company. What specific amount in real terms are we talking about with respect to the MCI? Uh, with respect to the MCA, for example, I checked their <clears throat> total current assets as of December 31, 2022. It's around 144 billion. So the 10% of that would be the materiality threshold, which is around 14, 14 billion. Yes, Your Honor. Um, in totality, not in one particular. So, some pong kaso pag tinotal, dapat mag exceed ng 10%. O isang kaso pag nag total ng. Each, each legal proceeding, Your Honor. Each, each case. Yes. Um, paano less than 10% lahat, pero dalawang po yun? Uh, what if you have a 2%, a case involving 2% of total, but there are 20? 20 different cases. Yes. Um, it, would not would be, be? it would not be disclosable, Your Honor. Shouldn't that be covered? Well, aside from the 10% materi materiality threshold, it, in general, we have... Um, if, if it has a material effect on the financial or economic condition of the listed company and it is ex expected to, to affect the investor's decision whether to buy, sell, or hold the security, then it would have to be disclosed also. Ma'am, that I presume that's a difficult mathematical equation already. Yes, but, but as a general guidance, Your Honor, um, we have a 10% materiality threshold. Don't you think it's about time PSC revisits um, that rule insofar as um, being individually computed as 10%? So 10 cases at 10%, ubus na yung kompanya. I mean, when will you know? You won't even know. Yes. Um, perhaps you can look at it both ways to protect the investors, not only on an individual basis, but, but also then. in its totality insofar as pending litigation or cases is concerned. Uh, we'll Again, look at the your best honor. interest of the investor, not not... Not not pertaining to the MCI in particular. Yes, the aggregate basis. We can look into it, Your Honor. The aggregate of the individual cases. Because the fact that it's material does not mean that something will it will affect the stock, right? That it will be delisted, that penalties will be imposed. All it means is that everyone is put on notice. Yes. But so that they enter it um, with eyes wide open, not eyes situation. wide shut. Thank you, ma'am. Mr. Chairman, can we invite again the... If there will be a next scheduled hearing, the um, um, HLURB, in so far as so the fact that they're selling already now. Yes, uh, Comsec is directed to uh, to Sophina, the uh, officials of uh, the Sud. No. Because they ignored our invitation, so next step is uh, to issue a Sophina. If they don't uh, appear in the next hearing, we will issue their warrant of arrest. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, just a few more points, um, Attorney Austria. Um, so I presume that given that Attorney Gasquan is your corporate counsel, um, you know of and approve of everything that was done by Attorney Gasquan as your corporate counsel. Not everything. Now that you've been briefed already of its in, in its entirety. Not everything. Uh, as I said, um, Attorney Gascon is reporting to the head of our legal department, which is Attorney Pasho, and uh, so. He does Head of the legal it. department of what, sir? Of DMCI Project Developers Incorporated. <laughs> Is Attorney Gascon's title corporate counsel? Is he the corporate counsel? He's he's a legal counsel. I distinctly remember when we asked him when he was representing DMCI Property Developers Inc that he is the corporate counsel. That's why I don't understand why there's a legal counsel on top of him.
Well, he is also a corporate counsel. He is also the corporate counsel. Mm. Yes. Does he sit in the board, sir? No, sir. He's not the corporate secretary. No, sir. Your legal counsel is the corporate secretary? No, sir. Iba pa yung? Iba pa yung. Iba pa yung? Yes. Now, with the indulgence of um, Senator Tulfo, just a few more, um, just a few more points. Um, nung binili ng DMCI, sa, nag -nag merger ang DMCI at TLDC, um, the main reason for that merger was the property, right? Is TLDC a singular property company? O may iba pang properties na interesado ang DMCI kaya kayo nag-merger? It's a corporation, but I'm not aware if it owns other properties. No, sir. You read, I'm sure by now you read the Supreme Court decision. Um, why did it take the MCI so long to register the supposed sale? Problem because it's an estate tax. Way back in 1995 to TLDC? There's a problem with the estate tax. Can, can I ask, Attorney, about the to answer that? He already gave us his answer, sir, actually. Um, he said that there were problems with respect to inheritance taxes that needed to be paid. But what were you told? Because, sir, again, if there are inheritance taxes due and owing to government, all they need to do is, you're in real estate, you know this, all they need to do is deduct it from the purchase price. In fact, if you were to buy yourself a piece of property, ima minus mo na yung doc stamps, yung transfer taxes, di ba? minus mo na yung capital gains tax para... Ako na lahat para sigurado mo rin ko to. Um, as experts in real property development, um, I find it odd, and the Supreme Court said so itself, that I, they find it odd that um, it was not registered until after 10, 15 years. Sir, from your perspective, why was it not registered? Didn't you investigate? Di ka ba nagtaka? Kung na-register lang sana noong pato, wala kayong sakit ng ulo eh. Di ba? Why did so, you not do it? Well, to your first question, the the property was fully paid already. No. That's why um, it was the responsibility of the seller to take care of uh, any taxes. Sir, again, mm -hmm. you and I both know that it's common practice that the buyer usually takes care of everything to make sure. Now, you bought a piece of property from me and I did not pay the taxes. You can never consolidate your ownership. Shouldn't it be your lookout? Nabayaran na ako eh. Hindi problema nyo na yan. Hindi ko babayaran yung tax. Habulin nyo ako. Gusto nyo ako habulin. As a real property developer, you don't do that. Mm -hmm. You don't leave it to chance. You don't let the buyer decide these matters and these things. You should exercise due diligence in so far as your dealings are concerned. So, in this particular instance, why was it not done? Bakit hinayaan niyo yung bayar mag-desisyon sa sarili niya ng sampung taon na hindi bayaran yun, bayad niyo na siya, and you cannot register the sale in your name? Sir, it took 11 years, nearly. The property was supposedly bought by TLDC in 1995. You registered the sale in 2009. Um, again, as the Supreme Court pointed out, a day after the deed of redemption was supposedly notarized by your corporate counsel. June 29, you notarized the deed of redemption. 2009, June 30, you registered the um, deed of redemption as you said. Um, why? Why did it take that long? I just want to understand, unless okay lang sa inyo yung ganun practice. Um, right. Well, I was not aware of, of that at that time, no. Uh, there was that problem. That there was that problem? Hmm. Whose lookout is that? Sir, nag-develop na kayo ng property, ang dami nyo nang ginagasos, wala pala sa pangalan nyo yung titulo. I don't get that. Uh, it was already in our name. Sir? Title. Nasa, nasa 
Previous to that, it was not yet in your name. Previous to 09. When we developed it, it was already in our name. What year was that? 2015. When you started the development? Yes. Your Honor. It was already in your name, although subject matter of litigation. Mm -hmm. I yield, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Attorney uh, Mr. Austria, for your patience and for your attendance in our hearing. Thank you, uh, uh, Senator Chis. Mr. Austria, can you confirm that uh, using the falsified uh, deed of redemption as a basis of ownership claim, the MCI filed a petition for uh, certiorari before the uh, with the Court of Appeals questioning the registration of the NLRC's uh, entry of judgment? <laughs> Yes, Your Honor. All right. Using the falsified deed of redemption, huh? Okay. Can you confirm that using a falsified deed of redemption so it was as a basis of ownership claim, the MCI filed a complaint for quieting of title involving the subject property before the RTC of Pasig City to oppose the registration of the entry of judgment? Can you confirm that? Sorry, sorry, Senator. So at that time, it was not uh, it was not declared falsified and um, oh, when did you know that it was falsified? Sorry? When did you know that it was falsified? Well, mm, so now, um, it's, it's really actually not falsified. That's why there's a motion. It was not falsified? When? It's only now that we, we got to know of the Supreme Court decision on observation that it's falsified, no? but it's actually... But it was the Supreme Court who told it, uh, in its uh, written decision that uh, the deed of redemption is falsified. Am I correct? Sorry, can, can you repeat the question, sir? It was, uh, I believe it was uh, written in the decision of the Supreme Court that the deed of redemption is falsified. Am I right? Am I correct? Uh, Your Honor, that's my understanding. Based on the findings of the Supreme Court, uh, the labor arbiter issued an order nullifying the deed of redemption and certificate and the release and quit claim in an order dated January 4th. Oh, it was the NLRC. The labor, uh, the labor arbiter, Your Honor. No, not correct. January 4, 2011. Uh, DMCI filed the quieting of title on November 10, 2011. So the order came first, January 4, 2011, nullifying the deed of redemption. Mm -hmm. And the quieting of title was filed November 10, 2011, Your Honor. So a period of uh, 10, uh, 11 months, 10 months to 11 months, Your Honor. Okay. Uh, can you confirm that the Supreme Court, in its resolution dated March 22 uh, of this year, in uh, GR number 235269, ruled that DMCI is guilty of committing forum shopping when it filed a complaint for quieting of title with the RTC and a petition for certiorari before the Court of Appeals? Can you confirm that? Yes, it's a subject of an MR. Can you confirm that in the same resolution, the Supreme Court ruled that the MCI instituted the petition for certiorari with the CA, with the Court of Appeals, and the quieting of title with the RTC to render ineffective the orders and resolutions of the labor arbiter and of the NLRC, which nullified the MCI's right, rights over the property? You agree? And then answer. All right. We we made use of the legal remedies provided by law. Excuse me? We made use of the legal remedies provided by law. You may made use of we, we use No no no. I was just asking, it's just answerable by yes or no. Can you confirm that the same resolution in the same resolution that the Supreme Court ruled? That the MCI instituted the petition for certiorari with the CA and the quieting of title with the R RTC to render ineffective 
the orders and resolutions of the labor arbiter and of the NRC, which nullified the, MCI, the MCI's rights over the property. So just answerable by yes or no. Simple question. Yes, sir. All right. So, ibig sabihin, dahil sa mga walang basihang uh, kaso na final ng uh, DMCI, hindi nakuha ng mga manggagawa, yung mga laborers, ang naipanalo na sa NLRC nung migit kumulang 26 years na nakalipas. Kasi, you affirmed all my questions. You answered in the affirmative. Di ba? Yeah. Yes, sir. But uh, like, we, then, yeah. in bato, NLRC ruling, with, um, which is final and executory, Supreme Court ruling, uh, decisions. We have, ano, we have compensated po yung five of the six workers. You have? Compe we have paid five of the six workers recently. Na, alam mo, nagugulan ako ha. Nag-merge na kayo <coughs> ng DMCI at saka Tagigland. Am I correct? Kung kayo nang owner ng property, why do you have to settle with them? Kayo nang owner, wala na kayo pakialam sa kanila. Why do you have to settle with them, with the laborers? Uh, we wanted to settle with the workers so that we can go on in developing the property. So, we, so that uh, there will be no more problems in the development, no? We settled. And, and also... Ako na may ari ng lupa, eh. Kakausapin ko mo ba sila? Sila dapat kumausap sa akin. Di ba? Which is quite logical. Hmm. Because because of the because of the annotation and because they always kept coming to to us, no. No, no. Excuse they me. kept on coming to our office to to ask for compensation for settlement. No? Again, yung settlement yung one point nine million. Yung ba yun? Kaninang at the recent, yung recently po, um, there's a, there's another settlement po. What was the other settlement that you're talking about? In front of the labor arbiter, there's another settlement. When was this settlement made? September and October. This September year. of? September and October of this year. Of this year. Who paid it? The MCI? The MCI. How much did the the workers receive? Eight point four million. Eight point four million. Eight point four million. Oh, can you confirm, Attorney Capuno? Uh, Your Honor, we're not certain about the amount they actually received, but I think that's the amount they disclosed before the labor arbiter, Your Honor. That was the topic of the query earlier, Your Honor, when the MCI went directly to the laborers for settlement without the participation of the lawyer, Your Honor. Okay, it was uh, did the uh, was uh, Lil Mr. Lilio compensated? No? Uh, no, Your Honor. He did not participate. He testified earlier that he was invited to participate by uh, the MCI, Your Honor. Your Honor, if, if I may add regarding the decision of the Supreme Court, the first division's uh, decision, uh, if we're going to examine the, the, the dispositive portion of the decision, the Supreme Court while it is the position of the MCI that the laborers are only entitled to the one-third portion of the property, the Supreme Court did not say that the MCI is entitled to two-thirds. In fact, the decision of the Supreme Court is to reinstate the title under the name of the original owners. The Laxinas, Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. So on, in, on that note, Your Honor, because of the findings of the Supreme Court that the 1995 deed of sale cannot be given any value because it was not annotated uh, from, the time it, uh, from the time they acquired it, and because of the deed of redemption executed in 2009 includes a participation of a uh, 
laborer who is uh, who's already dead, Your Honor. So, yung 1995 din, in-execute na ng deed of sale, baliwala yun, sabi na... Uh, binaliwala po siya kasi hindi po na-register doon sa title because after more than 11 years. they did years. not annotate it. Yes, Your Honor. Am I correct? Yes, Your Honor. In that aspect? Yun po yung unang sinabi nila, hindi po nila in-annotate and it's beyond human experience why it took them so long to register What that. What is the reason why they did not annotate it? According to them, Your Honor, as they testified because of some estate tax issues, Your Honor. Is that correct, Attorney Gascon? Yes, Your Honor. You did not annotate it? Yes, Your Honor. Because? Uh, during that time, Your Honor, the, it cannot be registered and annotated, Your Honor, because the, the Register of Deeds and the BIR are uh, asking for the uh, Certificate of Registration for the Payment of Taxes, Your Honor. But, uh, that so that was your lookout. Hindi hindi lang kasalanan niyo. Kasalanan niyo 'yun. Uh, yes, Your Honor, but during that time I'm sorry, I'm not yet connected with with them say during that time, Your Honor. I don't know why why it, it took 10 years or there because when I when I came to 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 know this title uh, is already there, Your Honor. But didn't you uh, uh notify the previous uh, legal counsel? Why didn't you ask him? Why did they not annotate it right away? Uh, when I came there, Your Honor, the legal counsel already not in, in the in the office, Your Honor. All right. Uh, the MCI has acted as a third party claimant on the subject property. Am I correct? Which is now a prime lot in the uh, Akasha Estates. When was the DMCI and the Tagiglad uh, merger effective? 19. I, I guess, Your Honor, 1997. 1997? Yes, sir. What's the prevailing market price during that time? Yeah, pardon, Your Honor? What is the prevailing market price during that time? Uh, I have no idea, but Your Honor, but I, I, I guess in the deed of absolute say it was purchased and under 2,500 per square. I am not sure, Your Honor. Right now, what is the prevailing price? Anybody of you? Uh, in the BIR, Your Honor, in the... Uh, in the BIR zonal uh, valuation, Your Honor, I, I guess. Mataas na, siyempre. Yes, Your Honor, around 20,000 per square. 40,000 only? Oh. 20, 20, Your Honor. 20,000 only? In the zonal valuation, Your Honor. I, I'm not sure, Your Honor, but it can, uh, we will check in the, what you call this, in the, in the BIR zonal valuation. Your you have erected, you have already have erected structures there, am I correct? Yes, Your Honor, and the uh, portion of 2,000 square meter, Your Honor. 2,000 square meters. Yes. Pending the resolution of the Supreme Court. Yes, Your Honor. Correct. I just would like to echo some of the questions of uh, Senator Cheese. Gumawa kayo ng structure. Wala kayong kasiguruhan kung ano magiging decision ng Supreme Court. Tama ba ako? That is my understanding. I am not a lawyer. I'm just a layman here. Tama ba ako? You were too presumptuous na, and you were too confident na itong Supreme Court papabor sa inyo. Because you already erected some structures there in that property. Am I correct? Well, that's the management, uh, what you call this, your the management. What if na, just to echo again the question of uh, Senator Cheese, the Supreme Court denies your motion for the reconsideration what will happen to the structures uh i i have no idea but uh if even case your honor the the, the 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 order of the supreme court is to 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 what you call this to settle with to, to pay or to to give it to the to the to the land owner on of course we will abide with the ruling of the supreme court your honor. well because the, on my part that is very risky because you've step you You've spent millions of pesos to erect these structures. How many percent has been uh, uh, ang natapos nyo na? Ano ba ginagawa nyo dito? Condominium? Yes, Your Honor. Ilang percent na? Ng... Uh, I guess, Your Honor, it's already 100% completed. 100%? Already? <laughs> Senator Rafi? Uh, anong pangalan ng project? Itong pinag-usapan natin, Mr. Ivory Wood Residences. Ivory right? Residences. Ivory residences. Ivory wood, yeah. Okay, I, ivory wood. So, nung, uh, nung kinukonstruct nyo itong ivory wood residences, itong project na ito, uh, 
siyempre, kukuha kayo ng mga permit and licenses, right? Yes, sir. Appropriate permit uh, and licenses. Alam nyo naman na it is under litigation. Yes, sir. Paano yung nagawa ng paraan na nabigyan kayo ng permit at license? Uh, we just submitted the, honor, the the uh, all the applications, Your Honor. Actually, in in the title, in in good faith, Your Honor, we put. Uh, you you've been using that word in good. Ah, sorry, sir. sorry, Your Honor. Since last hearing. Okay. No, alam nyo na under litigation ito, and yet pinilit nyo. Sabi nga ni Senator um, Jingoy, very presumptive kayo. Palagi, alam nyo under litigation. Pinilit niyo pa rin na ituloy yung proyekto. Sana hindi mo na kayo nagpatayo ng structure. And then, in-inform niyo ba? in niyo ba yung mga, yung mga pinuntahan yung mga ahensya ng ating gobyerno para sabihin sa kanila, Hoy, tagpulano, tagpulana, ito ay under litigation. However, kami po ay mag-apply ng permit at license na para mag, uh, magtayo kami ng high-rise condominium dyan sa Ivory Wood Residences. Yes. Were they informed? Yes, sir. No, we uh, in Maya get to my agent. Give me the names of those agencies. In, in the, uh, in the title, in Give the, me the names right now. I need the names of those people. Na sinabi niyo na ito ay under litigation. Pero kami nagbabakasakali. Bigyan niyo kami ng permit at license na para maituloy tong project. Give me the names of those people. I I I'm not the one who applied your honor the the uh, application for the permits, your honor. I'm not privy to the. So therefore. Hindi niyo sinabi. Dalawa lang, it's either sinabi niyo sa kanila na under litigation itong lupang ito. It's, it's in the title, Your Honor. Uh, we filed uh, uh, annotation in the title that uh, there is a uh, pending litigation, Your Honor. Okay. Then give me those people na nag-approve pa ng inyong lisensya at ng inyong permit. Those agencies, government agencies na inuprobahan na despite the fact they know better na ito ay under litigation, dapat hindi muna. I don't know, Your Honor, who, who because I, I have said I'm not the one who applied the, the permits, Your Honor. It's in 2009, Your Honor. I don't know. I am not in the one. Dahil nga dyan sa inyong padalos-dalos na yan, there's this big possibility na itong mga, res, itong mga nakabili na ng mga unit dyan sa Ivory World Residences, magmumukhang kawawa, magiging homeless, mawawala. You see? You know that, right? Sabi nga ni Senator Jingoy, ano kung dumating yung time, sinabi ng Supreme Court Finance Executory, wala ng MRMR, panalo na sila. Oh, paano yun? Paano yun ay mga nakapagbayad na sa inyo? Yung gagawin nyo, i-refund yun. Just to interject, no, uh, Senator Raffi, uh, Sinabi niya, it was already 100% uh, finished, the project, the Ivory Residences, correct? Yes, Your Honor. Nag-benta nag, uh, na pa kayo mga unit? Yes, Your Honor. Ilan percent na yung uh, nabentahan ninyo? Is it 100%? Uh, occupied? Fully it's occupied? occupied? It's fully occupied. Fully occupied? Mm. Ah. Parang, an, pa, kasi sa akin, parang ang lakas-lakas naman loob niyo na... Nagbent, nagpatayo kayo ng structure, ng condominium, nagbenta kayo, nag-presell kayo, probably nag-preselling pa kayo noong no araw. Tapos ngayon, uh, you admitted yeah. that uh, it has already yeah. been sold. Every every unit has already been sold. Sabi nga, pagka uh, sinabi ng Supreme Court, hindi hindi kayo pinanigan, kinatigan. Yes. What will happen to the, so, to the buyers of these uh, units? That you have sold to them. So, sige po. For, first of all, po, um, I was not aware na um, na may problema yung ano yung. Didn't didn't you inform? Yung, yung didn't you inform these uh, clients of yours or the buyers of yours that this lad is still undisputed? Is is still disputed? Nasa, didn't you inform them? Oh, so, so bumili na unit. Oh, ganda nito. Hindi mo ba sinabi, hindi mo ba ako sasabihan na oh ito ha, may may problema pa itong lupa to ha. Actually, so I'm aware as a buyer I am aware. Actually po um the development is maybe around more than 3 hectares po. And then the this particular property is at the edge of that that entire development. 
no, this is still a disputed property before the Supreme Court. Correct? No. Yes, oh. Your Honor. Didn't you inform? I was just asking. Very elementary lang naman yung question ko eh. Did you, did, you not, did you not notify the buyers of your units that may problema that this land is still disputed before the Supreme Court na may kaso pa? Kasi kung sasabihan mo, hindi ako bibili, matatakot ako. Mm -hmm. Di ba? So, parang niloko nyo yung, itong mga buyers mo ng units. Eh, pag kasi namin yung Korte Suprema, talo kayo, o paano? Paano, paano yung unit ko? Malalayasin nyo kami ron. Siyempre, eh, talo kayo eh. Oo. Then, sobra, sobra naman, you are too presump presumptuous to say the least. Kasing itin, Mr. Chair? Yeah, please. Uh, Attorney Gascon, on our next hearing, I want those people from the different agencies that gave you the permit and licenses to go ahead with the project, that gave you the go signal na ituloy project, despite the fact that they knew na ito ay under litigation. I want them here in the next hearing, and the Mr. Chair, under oath, let's put them under oath and let them talk. Produce those people. Kasi, sabi mo, nandun sa annotation, alam nila under litigation, and yet pinayagan pa rin na bigyan ng green light ang proyektong yan na dapat hindi. I think you want to yeah, okay. Then, yeah. then produce those people here. Yes, sir. The next hearing. Yes, sir. And you agree with me, dapat hindi kayo na bigyan ng permit. Kasi nga, it's being contested because it's under litigation at Supreme Court pa ang nag-handle ng kaso. Bilang paggalang na sana sa Korte Suprema, dapat hindi mo na ginalaw. Hindi mo na kayo binigyan ng permit. Pero nang pumilit na magbigay ng permit itong mga agency na ito at kung sino yung mga Ponce Pilato dyan, may, may kalalagyan sila rito. The uh, ComSec is instructed to invite uh, all those uh, persons mentioned by uh, Senator Rafi Tul. Yes? Uh, I've, my comment is, uh, um, I think the our lawyers thought that the risk was very small. Please stop now. That the risk was very small, considering that there was a uh, settlement. No? So the, the, the risk court, is very small. Because there was a settlement. Eh. Even yung, though there was a settlement, but the ultimate decision will still be the Supreme Court. Yeah. Diba? We, what our, if, our, I think our... Um, going back to my previous question, what if the Supreme Court we, denies you? We never anticipated that, Your Honor, because huh? we did not anticipate that. Because okay, they... okay, one last question. <coughs> Kung nagbebenta na kayo, paano niyo matatransfer yung uh, uh, sa mga buyers yung titulo? Ha? Huh? Yung hindi naman nakapangalan sa DMCI. Not How? Transfer. This is still a disputed area, a disputed land. You were you you started. Uh, erecting structures, and in fact, it is already 100%, and you started pre-selling or selling the the uh, condo units, how can you transfer the title to, to the buyers? Kung, and, uh, transfer uh, naman po. Ganun kasi, bro, bumili ako ng unit mo. Mm -hmm. Oh, bumili ako ng isang milyon. Kunwari, one million worth ng unit mo. Binigyan ko ng isang milyon. Paano yung titulo ko? Meron naman pong titulo na na-transfer po. Huh? There was a the, the title. Is it under the name? Sorry. Is it under the name of the the MCI the property? The yes, Your Honor. But still, but this is still disputed. Paano ka? Meron na ba kayo initial na titulo sa mga buyers? Yes, Your Honor. Kasi karamihan po ng building hindi naman po um sa akop ng disputed property. What, what, what is the disputed property? Hindi, kasi malaki po yung property eh. And nandito lang siya sa, sa bandang boundary. So, um, 2,000 square meters yung uh, disputed out of a total of, I think, around 3 hectares. Okay. So, doon sa disputed, wala kayo disputed? Merong tinamaan na isang building out of, out of, uh, Siguro, out of around 10 buildings. Um, 
<laughs> Natatawa ako sa sarili ko. Alam mo, I'm sorry, I have to use this term kasi wala akong maisip na term para i-describe itong ginawa nyo. Tanga kayo. Totoo. Tanga. Itong attorney, you're an attorney. Tanga ka. Oh, sorry. The company that you represent is tanga, pati ikaw tanga. Uh, nakipag-areglo kayo sa inyong mga complainant nang wala pa ang final para sa inyo decision sa Supreme Court. Tama? Naka-MR kayo. Gumugulong yung kaso sa Supreme Court. Pinayaran nyo sila. Dumating yung time, sinabi ng Supreme Court, ito yung decision namin na dapat ito yung amount ng pupunta o ito yung mga proper na punta. Bali wala yung aregluhan ninyo. Alam mo yan. Hindi iono na Supreme Court yan. At pwede silang bumalikta. sabi nila, ah, sundin natin Supreme Court. Yung pinerma namin yan, null and void yan. Doon kami sa Supreme Court decision. Kung gusto nyo, kung magkano binigay nyo, 100 million, at eh, nakalagay Supreme Court, 1 billion, eh, punuan yung diferensya. Wala kayo magagawa. Kasi susundin talaga kung ano decision ng Supreme Court, right? Tara kayo. Pwede kayong balik ta rin yan. Hindi kayo nag-iisip. Nagpadalos-talos kayo dapat kung aregloan man, doon pa lamang sa NRC, nakipag-areglo na kayo. Hindi nyo sa pinabos sa Supreme Court. Dahil pag nakarating sa Supreme Court, it's a point of no return. You cross the Rubicon. Hindi na pwede bumalik. So ang ginawa nyo, inareglo nyo sila. Thinking na tapos na. Hindi. Ang problema nyo talaga sa Supreme Court na. Nag-guess you, sir? Sasabihin ng Supreme Court, ito yung desisyon namin. Sa lugat doon sa inyong aregluhan. Do you agree? Na pwedeng sabihin ng mga complainant, ah, yung binigyan yung areglo, wala yan. Sundin natin yung Supreme Court, kahit may pirmahan tayo, doon tayo Supreme Court decision. Wala kayo magagawa, tama? O, di ba katangahan yan? Tulad sa ginawa mong katangahan na patay pinapirma mo, kahit na wala sa presence mo, pumayag ka, pumirma ka doon sa notarize, dinotarize mo na dokumento na he and she was there, when in fact they weren't there. Katangahan. Ang daming katangahan na nangyari ito. I've been observing since the first hearing. Ang daming lapses. And these lapses are glaring. Plain and simple katangahan. Ano po to? Dahil masyadong greedy kayo? Diyan sa DMCI. Maybe not you. You're just a lawyer. Maybe it's Mr. Austria. Who owns DMCI, sir? Uh, it's a... Uh, DMCI Holdings owns uh, almost 100% of uh, DMCI project developers. And who are these people that... Oh, it's a publicly listed company, Paul. And um, so there are plenty. Why are you evading the question of Senator Kulfo? Who are the owners? Mention the names. Oh, yung, ang majority owner is uh, the Kunsuni family. And then, but then again, there are plenty of other shareholders because of it being a public company. Maybe it's, company. A, it's about time na magkaroon ka ng reorganization sa inyong company, sir. I'm serious about this. Kailangan magkaroon ka ng reorganization dahil wala eh. Wala, hindi tama yung mga ginagawa ninyo. Mga polisiya, yung mga sinusunod yung polisiya, wala. Yung mga protocol hindi nasusunod. Nagpapawara-wara kayo. Padalos-dalos, tulad nito. Di ba? Again, dalawang tatamaan dito. Una, Yari kayo dito, kapag nag-decide ng Supreme Court in favor of the complainant, yung naibigyan yung areglo, mababaliwala yun, sisigil ulit kayo ng complainant, pwede kayong balikan, eh kung sunsulan to ng mga abogado nila, bago, hoy, baliwala yung aregloan na yan, balikan natin sila. Makisaw-saw tayo doon sa desisyon ng Supreme Court. Pangalawa, kawawa yung mga buyers ninyo, sabi niya 100%, nabayaran, nakapagbayad na. Oh, anong gagawin nyo doon? Kung meron Supreme Court rulings, how much, magkano po? My question now is, magkano na yung halaga ng natanggap ninyo mula sa mga buyers? Ilang units ho ba ito are we talking about? Ilang cond condominium units? Uh, 161 units ang affected, One, Your Honor. 161 units. Magkano to more or less? 
yung 160. Sabi, sabi niyo kasi nakapagbayad na eh. Yung average na lang kasi Mr. Chair, meron yung ano siguro yung two, two bedrooms, two bedrooms, meron yung studio. Pero uh, two story to, bungalow lang. Seven story. Five story. Five. 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 five story. And then how many units, units are affected are 161 units. Yung how mga magkano to sa 161 units? I have million. Mga around 3 million siguro each. Each. 3 million each so times 161. Regardless of how many bedrooms? It's only two two bed two bedrooms, Your Honor. I think uniform. There are three bed. Uniform or two bedrooms. Average, average, Your Honor. Two bedrooms. Average of two. So yes. Three studio type, with three bedrooms. We don't have studio type in that unit. Your so Honor. maximum is uh, minimum is two. Yes. Your maximum Honor. is maybe around three. Three bedrooms. Yes, Your Honor. So you're selling it at an average of three million. Almost all po ay two bedroom. Excuse me. Almost all are two bedroom units. Yes. Those so three million one hundred sixty one. 483. Huh? 483. So that's 483 million. Yeah. So you know that, that that is possible na kailangan yung ibalik doon sa mga uh, uh, land owners, yung mga unit owners. And meron pa kayong disgrasya na pwede kayong balikan at idemanda. Kasi hindi kayo naging truthful sa kanila. Tulad sinabi ni Senator Jingoy na kung sinabi niya na, oh, open for selling na kami ha, pero may kaso to, under litigation to. Alam nyo, baka hindi na 483 million ang mayayari sa inyo. Baka billions and billions of pesos sa lawsuit. Kasi meron dyan iba. Sabihin, ah, hindi, niloko nyo kami, lilipat pa kami, ang dami pang abala. Ididimanda ko kayo. I don't want my money back. I want something else. I'll file a lawsuit. So from 483 million, pwedeng tumaas pa yan ng 1 billion, 2 billion, who knows? Plus yung desisyon pa ng Supreme Court, bankrupt kayo. Dahil sa kanyang katangahan. So Mr. Chair, next hearing, I, I would like to see those people. Yes, uh, we will uh, conduct the next hearing either next, uh, either Tuesday or Wednesday next week. Uh, depends on the availability of uh, the uh, committee rooms. And I expect your attendance again on... Uh, on next week, uh, including those uh, that were mentioned by Senators uh, Escudero and Tulfo, the persons mentioned, especially the uh, representatives of uh, the Sud. Again, I would like to state for the record, if they do not show up next hearing, you will issue right now a subpoena. Am I correct? If they don't issue, if they don't show up next hearing, we will issue a warrant of arrest. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Hearing is hereby uh, suspended.